Once upon a time, there was a young man named Jeffrey. Jeffrey looked quite a lot like you. He used to spend his hours flicking between apps and websites from YouTube to Instagram to Twitter to YouTube to Instagram, back to YouTube, scrolling down at the comments. Maybe you've already scrolled down to the comments of this video, haven't you, Jeffrey? But there was one point when Jeffrey had enough. He had a big assignment due for the next day and it was just in his mind of how much that he had to go and do this work and he kept delaying it. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. to 10. He was frustrated and angry and so he vowed he would never be addicted to the internet ever again. Never again am I going to waste so much time. And then he went to bed and did it all again. But there is another man who is quite different to Jeffrey. Adonis. Adonis has grown up in a time where the internet and modern technology wasn't even a thing. Inside of the primal tribe where he was the leader. There was no such thing as internet addiction. And so when Adonis first stumbled upon Jeffrey. He did disrespect him. He did think that Jeffrey was weak. Wouldn't you? But it was only when Adonis had looked around. And saw that this problem had plagued, had infected billions of people that he realized that he was wrong about Jeffrey, that Jeffrey was not weak, that Jeffrey was not the problem, that young Jeff, young Jeffrey was up against the greatest battle of humanity, the greatest battle that man has ever faced so far. We believe in you, Jeffrey. <laughs> uh, let me tell you about my life. Age 17, I discovered NoFap. And it was the exact same thing all of the time. I'm trying to get to day seven, day 90, whatever like the goal was to get to with the NoFap benefits timeline where eventually you levitate and the women can smell your nut apparently. Like that's what I wanted, right? To be honest, I just wanted to have like bigger nuts. That's like the main reason why I got onto NoFap. But anyway, I'm 17 years old. I'm on NoFap and I keep relapsing every one or two days. One or two days, one or two days. Relapse, relapse, relapse. Never getting to the, the special day seven or, or day 21 or day 90. Just one or two days relapse, one or two days relapse. I'd get to day three sometimes. That would be like my highest score, my balls would feel full. Relapse, relapse, relapse. And there was one particular day that I want to tell you about where I woke up and I was doing, you know, the, the CEO morning routine of a 17 year old, which was wake up, grab phone, Scroll pretending that you're not looking for porn, but you kind of are on your favorite social media, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit. It was Reddit for me. You know, not particularly looking for the porn, but kind of like knowing you're going to stumble on it. And oh, round one done. Still got more in me. And you know, it, it's day zero. So you can't get to day zero again today, can you? <laughs> so you, nothing to lose now. Scroll and scroll and scroll. At this point, I'm not even coping. I'm literally just looking directly for porn. I'm, I'm going down to different porn stars, subreddits and everything. Round two. Usually two was about the most that I'd do, but this day was different. And by the third time, as what I should have been a young, healthy 17 year old, my dick didn't even get hard. It was genuinely about 
40 or 50 percent it was like a semi it was like 40 or 50 percent of the way to an erection and i still nutted even whilst i was doing it, i was like looking like thinking like this is a bit pathetic and by this time the third nut and by the way i hadn't even left my bed yet the third nut within probably two hours or so of waking up maybe a little bit longer i remember that as I, this is quite graphic, I apologize, but as I'm literally nutting and spasming, I remember that it, like it wasn't even that enjoyable because literally like, you know, th there's a thing called post nut clarity. I got intra nut clarity. Like it was whilst I was actually climaxing. That's when the negative thoughts, usually you have like a good few seconds. This was like literally as I was supposed to have the moment of enjoyment. The negative thoughts are flooding in. This is pathetic. But you know, that wasn't even the worst part of it because, okay, clean up and everything, sweaty underneath the bed, I could get changed, I'm wearing like pajamas and everything, go downstairs to get water, and suddenly I'm actually next to like my family, my whole family's there, you know, my dad's getting water, my mom's cooking, my sister's eating and stuff. And this is the point where it hit me because I literally felt like this weird, disgusting goblin amongst my family. I felt like this weird, like, like I had a lot of of shame they didn't uh, they probably knew honestly not so much specifically oh yeah he was upstairs going for a jackathon round three but more so that yeah he's he's a wanker <laughs> but here i am next to my family and i literally just felt like this autistic subhuman creature i felt dirty i had like i hadn't even showered yet i had like literally just you know like greasy like musky sweat So we're going to talk about seven ways that you know you're addicted to the internet. Number one, when you click on a YouTube video, you automatically scroll down to the comments. Now, be honest, you've probably done that already at least once. Maybe you've spent a solid two minutes or so just listening to me almost like a podcast or an audiobook whilst you've been reading the comments and liking other people's comments, maybe replying to some. It's like you don't even have control over your own hand or your brain. You literally click on a video. You do not, and don't bullshit yourself. You do not click on a YouTube video and actually consciously think to yourself, I'd like to see what the comments are saying on this video. I'd like to see what people around the world are saying about this video. You do not, you have never said that once you've clicked on a video. You've never had the conscious thought and yet, because of addiction, because you're like a rat just press pressing the, the lever of dopamine, you just scroll. Maybe you're still looking at the comments as I say this to you right now. Why is it so difficult for you to just like take your hand off the mouse or the, or the phone and just look at me in, in my eyes as you would a normal human being? You've wanted to improve your eye contact with girls, you know, oh, hold eye contact, hold eye contact. Well, how about you practice with me, dumbass? That's the first sign that you're addicted to the internet. It's very specific to the kind of people who watch YouTube. You just keep constantly scrolling down. And there's a way, an actionable step that I can give you right here, right now, that within just a few minutes, you will never do that again. You will never accidentally scroll down and get distracted from the video content. You will never accidentally waste another hour on YouTube. This sounds like a big promise, but my, my fans actually know exactly what I'm about to say. There's a series, like a multiple Google Chrome extensions that you can download and add all for free within literally the next 60 seconds that will just stop YouTube from fucking your mind. It disables comments, views, subscribers, likes, thumbnails. And also there's a few other... Um, things that these extensions do if you're a YouTuber. It stops your mental health from getting messed up if you go onto like YouTube analytics and you see the fireworks or sometimes you see it says like, oh, your latest video was 10 out of 10 performance or one out of 10, you know, like it stops all that. All those extensions I linked in a different video, which if you haven't seen it, it's, it's on my channel, it's titled, this will literally change your life in 12 minutes. If you haven't seen that video already where I literally like it's, I'm sharing my screen, walking you through, this is an actionable step. I think all of us should have these extensions. You can change the settings if you want, but I think all of us should have these extensions on YouTube. If you're the kind of person who watches YouTube for at least an hour a day, it would probably change your life to have a little bit more control on this website. You'd probably spend 40, 50, 60, 70, 80% of your like internet time on. Number two, 
the second sign that you have an internet addiction. You've already tried to improve this. For example, you've already enabled the screen time on your phone and that's like a metric that you've been thinking about. Oh yeah, my screen time on average is like eight hours and I've brought it down to like seven. It's already something that's in your mind. You've already known that this was a problem and you've been tracking it. You already, like you're in this space of knowing about dopamine detox, of knowing about internet addiction, of knowing about like the, the problem of dopamine that when you watch porn, then your dopamine shoots through the roof, but then after that it kind of goes down below baseline. You already know like all the lingo. So really we can, break, we can go straight on to number three. You know. You know that you have an internet addiction. You already knew it before you clicked on this video, right? No, seriously, just... When you went onto YouTube today, you did not think to yourself, I wonder if I've got an internet addiction. I wonder if there's a video that might educate me and, and you know, enlighten me whether or not I've got an internet addiction. You didn't think that and yet you're still here watching my pointless video. I'll say that again, you did not plan to come and watch this video. You already knew that you had an internet addiction and yet you still clicked on this video, why? You're gullible. You're success, su how do you say that word? Success, susceptible. Success, success, fuck. Successable. <laughs> You're a dumbass. So am I apparently if I can't pronounce that word, but that is a fucking hard word to say, susceptible. Fuck. So <laughs> well, my point is, you did not plan to watch a video like this today, did you? You already knew. When you looked at, this, at the title of this video, you already knew that you had an internet addiction, and yet you clicked on this video anyway. What was the point of that? What was the point of you even clicking on this video when you kind of knew whether or not you have an internet addiction, which 90% of us do? There was really no value promised here and yet you clicked on this video anyway because you're prone you're weak you have a lack of control over your own impulses and i don't even blame you because these days it is very hard it's very hard to conserve your brain power and your time for yourself your business, the YouTube channel you want to grow, the fact that you want to be an entrepreneur and you don't just want like a shit job like everyone else your age. It's vital that you conserve your brain points for those things like your work, your goals, your mission, your business. The things that matter, family, love, relationships, not pointless content consumption. This is something we speak a lot about. The fact that you just clicked on this video for no reason, that's something that we speak about inside of Adonis School. See what I did there. Do you see what I did there? For the last five minutes or so, I pretended to go off script I pretended to be this authentic guy to tell you that, you know, oh, here's the problem with YouTube and, you know, here I am as a YouTuber. And by the way, here's a sales pitch. It's very easy for you to get Lord these days. This will undoubtedly happen to you again, where you'll, where you won't even plan to watch a, a certain kind of video and yet there'll just be a tasty thumbnail or an attractive title and that'll be the reason why you click and you waste half an hour of your time, one hour of your time. 10 minutes here. And the thing is, often if you sit down and watch a, a video for 30 minutes straight, like one video, you might not think it's a waste of time because you've sat there and 
you know, invested the time and chose to stay there. The way that you waste so much time on the internet is with these micro moments. It's the 10 seconds here. It's the four seconds per TikTok video. It's the, you know, average 63 seconds that you spend per YouTube video that you get kind of bored off and you go to the next one and the next one. It doesn't seem like it does anything. And then before you know it, an hour's gone by, two hours gone by. And you didn't plan to waste that time. You didn't want to waste that time. You didn't actually want to sit down and click on this pointless video and just waste some time with it and then move on to the next one. That was never your intention, but it keeps happening. You need a little bit of humility to realize that this is a problem that keeps happening to you because you're not actually doing anything about it. You identify as someone who has an internet addiction, but you do nothing to solve it. The first thing you can do, which is very simple, very quick, I've already suggested the extensions, the Google Chrome extensions. I don't make any money or anything from that. I just think that they're super helpful and I have them enabled. But really the second thing, which it goes so much deeper because there's a lot of guys who will download those extensions, turn them on, and then they'll end up being Jeffries again. Within a few days, they'll disable all of them, delete them all back to normal. You've probably tried this, right? You've, you've blocked YouTube or porn before and what happened? When someone tells me he, he installs some extension to block porn or to you or YouTube or whatever it is. Honestly, if I'm totally honest, I think he's a bitch. When someone tells me that, when he says, oh Hamza, you know, there's this YouTube extension where you can just uh, block yourself from going onto YouTube. Or you can use this website that then just stops you from going onto YouTube, bro. You can use this website that stops you from, one, you sound like a little bitch because have some fucking control over yourself. But two, Every single person who downloads something like that, who sets up one of these like, oh, you know, you go on this website and then you, you, you can put it in that you, you, you get locked out of YouTube for 90 minutes and you've got to focus or, you know, have you, have you seen this at uh, this forest app? And so you're about to do 90 minutes of work and then you, you click on it and then a tree shows. And if, if, if you stay productive, then the tree gets bigger. But if you don't stay productive, then the tree dies. Bro, are you fucking 10? Are you 10 years old? Are you like a dumb little child who needs this little dopamine, who needs an extra app? To, to help him from internet addiction, you need to download an extra app, which is all gamified. Oh, oh, get this tree. Oh, add, add me on forest, bro. I'm, I've got 10th prestige. Like, fuck you. I've got 10th prestige. I've got the gold skinned tree on, on the forest app. Pomodoro technique, technique anyone? 25 minutes of work? What's wrong with you? You know, the reason why people, so many guys are coping with these low tier strategies a lack of purpose. It's simply this, if you became more masculine, if you became more purposeful, you simply would waste less time. Your standards for living go crazy high. You might not even believe this. Let me tell you some examples from my own life. What, what level my standards have got to with time wasting and you know, with my lifestyle, being aligned to my purpose. My purpose, like my current purpose layer, the focus of my life right now is financial freedom. My cheat day is a chicken salad. I'm not even bullshitting you. I felt bad because I went off my usual like eating schedule because I ate dinner at 7 p.m. And I vowed to never make that mistake again. I ate dinner at 7 p.m. and I felt bad because that was off my sleeping schedule and it was too close to bedtime. And I will not make that mistake again. That's a weird example for me to give, but what I'm telling you is, when you really narrow in on your purpose and you find your mission as a man like this, Oh, you know, the purpose and mission sounds so weird and like, you know, dark, like hard to explain. They sound mysterious. 
And everyone online talks about them, don't they? Oh, you got to find your purpose. you got to be on the mission. They're, none of these guys actually ever explain to you what these things actually mean. You can say your purpose is kind of like the biggest core goal that you have right now. Maybe it's to finish your studies. Maybe it's to like get a good job or to level up a business. Maybe it's to get some kind of freedom from a business so that you don't have to work the f shitty job anymore so that you can go and travel the world. Or maybe you've got enough money to help your family. Maybe the purpose right now, the goal right now is just focused on the gym so that you can build a body that you're proud of. It's like the biggest goal in your mind, right? When you really have this big goal in your mind, this one big goal, and you're making decent progress to it, you no longer waste your time. You no longer need the Pomodoro technique. You no longer need the fucking forest app or these extensions. The ones I've recommended at the start of this video, they can be nice, especially if you're a YouTuber and like for your work, you have to go onto YouTube. But the idea of like just blocking YouTube as a website, totally blocking the porn apps. That's not going to do shit because you'll uninstall them. The reason why is because you still want to do those things. I don't want to do like I don't want to like just watch some bullshit random video on YouTube. You might agree, but your actions suggest otherwise. You want to waste time because you're not filling your time up with other things. And the reason why, I can tell you right now two reasons. Either, either of these reasons will explain why you're a little bitch. Your beliefs or your traits. Either you believe that you shouldn't work so hard. You believe that you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You believe that you should have like an hour at the end of the day to it, you know, to like rest and unwind. Unwind by hyper stimulating yourself on TikTok and video games. Is that unwind? Is that unwind? Oh, but I just want to rest. I just want to rest at the end of a day. Is your brain resting when you play video games? A hyper stimulating activity. Is your brain resting? All these little video gamers, anime watchers, or these guys who love TV shows who say, oh, just one hour just to, you know, to rest at the end of the day, to unwind. Your brain isn't resting from that. So you have a poor belief system. But maybe it's just your traits. Maybe your belief system is in the right place. <laughs> Mr. Tate has raised you well. But now it's your traits. You still have these poor habits where you still, for some reason, you end up, before you know it, back onto YouTube. That happens, doesn't it? Before you even know it, before you were consciously aware of it, you've already clicked on a video and you're hooked in. It almost feels like you have a, a lack of control, doesn't it? The reason why this happens, you are unconscious if you keep finding this to happen in your life where for example you end up watching porn like before you know it you get these intense cravings for the food you shouldn't eat and it's almost like you feel powerless to them you instantly get angry or emotional and you say things that you later end on regretting these happen because of a lack of consciousness. Consciousness is kind of like how present you are in the real world. Most guys are semi AFK, like, you know, the, the video game analogy, like away from keyboard or like BRB. Like when you used to play games, you'd say AFK or BRB. Most guys are, are B BRB in their own mind. Most guys are fucking AFK in the real world. The reason, like the way you stop being AFK. Can you guess what it is? How could you stop being unconscious? Be more conscious. How? What activity, what habit do you think might make you more conscious? Meditation. Mark my words. Meditation is the cure to internet addiction. I'll say that again and you better listen. Meditation is the cure to internet addiction. No one makes money from it. No one profits from meditation. You can do it right here, right now for free. We can do it together. Close your eyes, bitch. The way that I like to meditate is a little bit different. I like to do what I call deep breathing meditation. It's something I, I learned from this book, The Way of the Superior Man. And I'll actually just, I'll read it out to you actually. Chapter 45, breathe down the fronts. All men tend to have blocks in the front of their body. 
along an imaginary line that runs from the top of the head, through the tongue, throat, heart, solar plexus, navel and genitals, down to the perineum. The principal bodily key to mastering the world, think about that, the principal bodily key to mastering the world and women is maintaining a full and open front of the body at all times. The best method is through full and relaxed breathing, draw, drawing energy down the front and freeing energy from neurotic self-concern. Neurotic self-concern, that sounds like you, doesn't it? Be honest, neurotic self-concern. Just... <laughs> so here is something I read every single day to help me meditate. You, you do it. I can't really follow along as I'm reading it, but you do it. Okay, I'll, I'll read it out to you. You practice. You do just exactly what I'm about to say. So make sure you sit up straight. It'll really help. Or stand up. Open out your chest like this. Like push push forward like you got big titties. So like almost like you're, you're um, pinching your shoulder blades back together as if you're about to do like a bench press set. Now follow what I say. Inhale deeply through your nose. And breathe through whatever tensions you notice in your body. Inhale deeply into your lower belly. Then exhale. <sighs> On your next inhalation, breathe into your lower and upper belly. Then exhale. On your next inhalation, fill your entire belly, then your solar plexus and lower chest. Then exhale. Then inhale, fill your belly, solar plexus, and your entire chest in that order. For several breaths, inhale fully in this way, filling your belly, solar plexus, and finally your chest. Then exhale fully, slowly, and smoothly. There's another bit I'll read you as well. I know that this seems weird what we're going through right now. And all of the Jeffreys, by the way, have already clicked off this video. Only the guys who are actually going to make progress in life are still here. Because now I've told you what the secret is. I've told you, you need to meditate. You need to go through a little bit of discomfort to follow some kind of habit which is productive. All of the fucking little Jeffreys have clicked the oh, Next video! Next video! Because now it's time to take action, right? But if you're still watching, you've got potential. This is one of my most favorite paragraphs of this entire book. And if you know me and how much I mentioned this book, you should probably listen to this closely. Right now, notice your breath. Are you inhaling so deeply you feel your genitals bulging slightly? Is your belly rising and falling with your inhale and exhale like a mighty bellows? Your belly and lower abdomen are special places of power. If your breath does not reach these areas, you can't recharge your batteries. You will feel weak and unsure of yourself. Your effect in the world will be minimal, less than your full potential. All of this comes down to the way that you breathe. You were never given a breathing class in school. Your parents never taught you how to breathe because they don't breathe correctly. No personal trainer will teach you this because they don't breathe correctly. Everyone breathes like a little bitch these days. There's, there's a guy, a YouTuber that I like, his name's Elliot Hulse, and he had a, a video over 10 years ago titled, Breathe Into Your Balls. You should breathe so deeply that your dick literally moves. And if your dick doesn't move, if your balls don't bulge with each breath you take, you're breathing like a bitch. There's two ways to breathe. Either you breathe like a bitch or you breathe like a king. Which one will it be? I want you to think of the way a king at the, the front of the court would breathe. How would, how would a king who was sure of himself, how would he breathe? Would he breathe the same way as you? Rolled forward like shoulders, you know, shallow, deep, fast in, inhales, you know, anxious breaths. Would you like half block nose? Or would a king... He's rested back. He's not like pretending. He does. He can be totally authentic because he's certain of himself. He's the king. He's rested back, and his fat belly is bulging. 
He's not there trying to think of, you know, trying to make his abs look better or anything. This is pure authenticity, the power of a king, the breath of a king. Belly bulging, mighty bellows. You probably are doing your first few real powerful breaths today. You'll notice because the first time when I consciously do this, I genuinely feel like my stomach open up the way it's supposed to. And I notice I was not breathing right for literally 99% of the day. And this is me right here, right now, like as of today, even though I know this passage from this book and I actually practice it every single day. I'm telling you right now, most of our breaths are that of little bitches. And so if you can't even breathe right, how are you gonna cure your internet addiction? Hmm? If you can't even, you don't even know how to breathe, bro. You, you don't even know how to breathe and you're trying to quit porn. You don't even know how to breathe and you're trying to reduce your internet usage. Bro, there, there's, there's a million scientists, there's a million software developer nerds who are against you. You know, okay, they've split tested everything, they've optimized these websites to keep you on there for as long as possible. So really you're in a war against these million nerds, right? These software developers who have been testing everything, all of these coders and everything, right? You're in a war against them. There's you on the lone battlefield and then there's them. And here you are and you're not even breathing right, bro. The, the, the one thing that you're just born with, you can't even do, bro. <laughs> On a serious note, this is actually what will help you. It's a, it's a little bit anticlimactic. And I know for a fact, your Jeffrey brain's going to disagree with this. And you want more fast tactics. You know, you, you want me to tell you even more extensions that you can download. And Hamza, you know, you kept on mentioning that, that website that can block YouTube. What is it, bro? I'll really use, like, you want these, like, there's a fucking device I saw an advert for. It's like a box. And it, you, like put your phone in and you lock it and then you can't grab your phone or your little nin Nintendo. Fuck me, bro. <laughs> you little, like a grown ass man locking his Nintendo in a plastic box saying, yep, I can't, you know, the box is locked. I can't use it for 90 minutes, bro. Fucking, fuck me, man. <laughs> Nintendo. This is the key. You want to overcome internet addiction? I can waste your time with another six or, or four points of the seven signs of internet addiction. If you wanted that, you're a pussy. You don't need more signs of whether or not you're addicted to the internet. You're addicted to the internet. So let's go to the solution. The solution is to breathe right as much as possible throughout the day to go into these meditative periods, which will level up your consciousness to the point that you'll stop f automatically falling down the trap of the internet addiction. The more you meditate, the more that you breathe right, the more power you will have over these like micro decisions that you're not even aware of. You see, what is... What is meditation? What is breathing, right? It's mindfulness. It's awareness. You're not aware that these things are affecting you. When you start to meditate more, you will, like, let's say this is the graph of the minutes that you've meditated over your life. And it's like this. It is an absolute linear negative correlation like this with being a pussy, wasting time on the internet, watching porn, eating the junk food. The more you meditate, the less you'll do those things because you'll actually have control over your actions. That's what most people don't have these days. When you see the problems, or at least when I see the problems of the modern world, we see the internet addiction, the porn and the video games and just content consumption. To me, the answer is clear. If everyone started meditating, the problem would largely be solved. These things only affect you because you are mindless. If you're still watching this video, because the Jeffreys have clicked off, all of the, the young Adonis, soon to be Adonises are still here. Carry on with your meditative practice. It's for free. You can do it every day, no matter where you are. All it takes is a few minutes a day. The kind that I like is on chapter 45 of The Way of the Superior Man. And once you do become more conscious and more presence, and you started reducing your internet consumption, your, your content consumption, and you know, wasting time on YouTube, porn, video games, and then the next purpose layer, the next goal for you 
really gets revealed and it's maybe about financial freedom, maybe it's about entrepreneurship, you want to build a business. That's genuinely when I think Adonis School will change your life. That's what I mentioned before. I mentioned it before to almost like trick you into like, you know, the whole YouTube thing I was doing where like I mentioned it and I was like, oh yeah, by the way, like, you know, if you, you, you get tricked to buying shit on YouTube and stuff, but like here, I'm actually being honest. If your goal, your major goal is actually entrepreneurship, I think Adonis School would genuinely change your life. That's the top link in the description. Go click on that right now if you're interested. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.